Hello, this is Brett McDonald with the National Weather Service in Riverton, Wyoming, bringing you a weekend weather briefing for mid-July 2013. Well, let's take a look back for a sec at the amount of precipitation that we've gotten over Wyoming over the last two weeks. This map here, generated off of water.weather.gov, shows that there's been over a half an inch across the northern two-thirds of the state with some areas getting over an inch or possibly even two inches based on radar estimates. We still have some areas of the state that are below normal, uh, mainly across the south and southwest parts of the state. So we'll see how that goes continuing into the month. Wanted to highlight a little feature that we're going to be advertising soon, creating some new precipitation maps. So if you go to the website listed below and double click on that KMZ file this will pull up in Google Earth for you. This is available each day after about 9.30 and then refresh again at 1.30. And then we're able to throw this into uh, GIS software, all those data points, and create a precipitation analysis across the state. So this is the 24-hour amounts from Wednesday morning through Thursday morning and see by the uh, values plotted and the numbers indicated that we had some precipitation with some storms over the southeast part of the state. This map will be coming to you soon. Well, let's get into the forecast for the weekend. Uh, the pattern that we've got right now should continue on for the next few days, namely high pressure over the western plains with low pressure over the Pacific Northwest and what that's doing is bringing moisture up from the desert southwest over Wyoming. Combined with a little front overnight, we should be seeing some overnight showers and storms across the central and even into southern parts of the state by tomorrow morning. And then by tomorrow afternoon, the focus should shift more toward the southern part of the state, into southeast Wyoming especially. But with that little front and the cool off, tomorrow's high temperatures will be about 10 degrees cooler than what they were on Thursday with the very warm temperatures. Looking ahead on Saturday, similar type of pattern, more moisture coming up over the state to some isolated, uh, uh, widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. And then on Sunday, we'll have a little, well, actually Saturday night, we'll have a little front move down from Montana and bank up against the divide so that when we do get some moisture coming up out of the southwest mid-levels, we we'll, should see some storms popping up over northern and especially eastern Wyoming. This is all as the high, actually the center of the high is moving westward toward the Four Corners region. As we get into Monday, the high is setting up again over the Four Corners region. The low still stays up over the Pacific Northwest and unfortunately not as much moisture or chance for storms and the heat and the dryness are kind of moving back into the state. Same story again on Tuesday, the high about in the same place with this uh, strange little low pressure system actually moving from east to west into the uh, southern plains. But Wyoming looks to be fairly sunny and warming on Tuesday. Wednesday, again, high pressure setting up. There's a little bit of uncertainty right now exactly where the center of that high is. One of our models is showing still down around southern Utah. Another model is showing that the high is going to be centered more over southern Wyoming, which could bring some fairly warm temperatures back to the state again on Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Here's a quick plot of our expected high temperatures for some cities around western and central Wyoming. The main story is cool down tomorrow on Friday, followed by some warming on Saturday. A little bit of a cool down on Sunday, as I mentioned before, with that little front from Montana. And then as the days continue into mid next week, gradual warming. These temperatures by the mid to end of next week could be approaching 100 again in some of the favorable areas like Grable and Warland. Look ahead toward the end of next week from the Climate Prediction Center. As we anticipated, above normal temperatures for Wyoming during this period. However, they're also looking for sort of a monsoon type push up through from uh, the desert southwest into Wyoming, more into southern and southeastern Wyoming, though by the end of the week next week. 
Well, we hope you're enjoying your summer so far. Please check in with our forecast as uh, things do change and the models change around and we certainly don't always get our forecast right, but please check up with us, Facebook, Twitter, the internet, and even on your mobile device. And please pay attention when you're up in the mountains to keep those wildfires under control. Take care.